taco. Classic. Sup, bitch? Welcome to my first tutorial. I made this tutorial because obviously some people aren't getting it. So I say let this be your first tutorial. Look at it and tell all your friends that are starting their first flash. It's time we cleared up this fucking portal of all the crappy stig figures and madness shit, alright? Okay, let's begin. Oh, uh, a couple words beforehand. See this pen? Good. I made it because of all those fucking anime people with the giant pencils and their huge eyes and they're all, Oh, I like stick figure, I thought we are. Why don't you people talk normal, please? It is, not ish. It's you, not you. Words are words, not fucking numbers. And this is not madness, wannabe, okay? Not madness. And yes, we do paper turns. Shut up. It's the new style. Okay, anyways. I'm here to teach you how to draw like me. I want to see people like me instead of stick figures, alright? Not that hard. And I'll feel like I've helped newbies and save experts the agony of saying, You suck, nerd! Step one. Oh, and uh, I'm not going to use buttons. Not very hard. You won't have to go back and wonder how I drew this. Uh, anyway, step one. Draw a circle. Hold down the shift key so it makes a perfect circle. It's small, right? This is going to be your hand. Put a circular gradient fill on it. Any skin color is cool. Make the colors on each side the same. We'll go with beige or white. Whatever's more politically correct for you. Okay. Now make sure the color on the outside of the circular gradient fill is highlighted. Now, the color shade meter, make that color a tad darker. Cool. Now you have a decent hand. Now turn it into a symbol by selecting all of it. Right click, select convert to symbol. Awesome, your first symbol. Name it hand, or hand colon light. This is good for library organization. Now hold the control key, then with your mouse, drag it. Now you have two hands. Do this again and make three hands. Perfect. Step two, make a head. Take your third hand, then right click it. Select duplicate symbol. This turns it into a completely different symbol and it doesn't affect the first two. Okay, instead of hand light copy, name it head light. Okay, here's where it gets tricky. With this being a new symbol, double click it. You can now edit your new symbol, making it a head select the whole circle. Now, a bunch of little white dots are around it. This is normal. Every little circle goes through this stage before it becomes a big circle. Never mind. Okay. Uh, well, with the circle selected, press the Q key. Just Q. Now, a bunch of squares are around it. Go to any corner and press Shift. Hold Shift and hold the little box thingy. And you'll increase it to any size you want. All right, look, look look at my head. Okay, this is, you know, you can use it as a comparison. Okay, now you have a big circle. Make the eyes near the middle of the circle. First, a little black dot. Now double click the center of it. Hold shift and press the arrow keys to make it move faster to where you want it on the head. Okay, when you know where you want it, make sure that the entire eye is selected. Now copy it. Now paste in place. Uh, another eye is right in front of it. Don't be a dumbass and click anywhere else. Leave your fucking mouse alone right now. Hold shift and make the eye move. So now you have two eyes on like a normal person. Okay, now you have a bald head. Excellent. Go back by pressing the blue arrow on the top left screen. Now you have a bald head symbol. Now let's add some hair. Step three. You're going to want to keep that head if you want to make more than one character. So... Click on the head symbol and again press duplicate symbol. Now for the name. Let's name it head colon tink. Well, you can name it your character name if you want. You name the guy tink, I'm going to have to kill that son of a bitch in a future video. Or not. I'm lazy. Well, with uh, your new categorized head, double click it again. Now add features. Well, add hair anyway. Gradient fill, a brown or black, and well, you have your basic head. Step four. Now for bodies. I draw my bodies by hand, but we're going to do it by lines. Now, make a box. Remember, two-point font. Edit the box so it looks like the outline of a body, lines and, you know, whatnot. Hold control and select the bottom of the box to make a new breakpoint. Do that until it kind of looks like this. Now, 
now. Draw the stuff to make it look like a torso. Or use lines. I draw them in because I'm sexy like that. Now, gradient fill appropriate areas. Booyah! Your body is made. Now, make it a symbol and name it body colon tink. Or your character name. If you want to make more bodies, change the color or lines of the one you just made. Don't forget to duplicate symbols. Step five. You're practically done. If you want higher quality cartoons, you'll want to make eyebrows and mouths and whatnot. I have a flash library full of characters and facial features. And this is about everything you need to know. This is better than drawing stick figures, right? Draw like this and with some decent animation, you can get up to the top 50. Because when you make an animation, you should always do your best. Always try to make it to make it to the top. Add storylines, plots, don't get too perverted, and people will respect you. And I'm done. If you want more tutorials like this, vote five. Or I'll fucking cut you. My next tutorial will probably be the animation process, or how to make weapons, or preloaders, or lip sync. <laughs> okay, maybe not lip sync, fuck that. Yeah. Well, until next time, this is Tink. No, stop fucking looking at me. I'm an inept now. I'm an inept. Go away. Maybe. Fucking look at me!